Hello and good evening. So, do you, so in this video for you all, I've just put up a screenshot from um, the gov.uk website, and it concerns a man called Wayne Slough. Now, in 2017, he made an allegation that his his ex-wife had stabbed him. But on investigation, it turns out that this was a false allegation. Um, and in uh, November of 2021, he was sentenced. He was convicted of attempting to make a false statement, making attempting to pervert the course of justice. He was given a two-year suspended sentence um, in November 2021. And this was subsequently increased in January of 2022 to a three-year prison term. So why am I putting this, this story up? It's, a, it's an unusual one for me. The point about that story is that here is somebody, in this case a man, who has made a false allegation of domestic violence against his former partner. The lie has been uncovered. And he was convicted of perverting the course of justice and sent to prison. Now, I'm not going to speculate as uh, about the, the backstory or how safe the conviction is or anything of, of that nature. The point of the story he is, this is um, an allegation. This man made an allegation that was pro apparently proved to be false and he was charged and convicted with, a f with perverting the course of justice and sent to prison. Now, before anyone, before while you're watching this, before you think that I'm I'm starting to turn soft or that I've become a feminist Uncle Tom, no, I have not. There is a reason for putting out this story. Just bear in mind what I've just told what I've just told you. We have an individual who has made a false allegation of domestic abuse, domestic violence. The lie was uncovered, and this individual was convicted and sent to prison. Now, we've heard a lot in the past about um, how the police don't like to prosecute women who make false allegations of domestic abuse. Um, the th mindset being that it discourages real victims from coming forward. And I've already covered this in a previous video. You cannot be prosecuted if the allegation go is NFA. You cannot be prosecuted if... The charges are not taken up by the CPS and the police have to drop it. You're not charged for, um, you're not going to be charged if there is an acquittal in the court. And there's also a, a bit of a get out of jail free because if a child is, converse, is coerced into making an allegation of this nature by a vengeful and malignant and gaslighting parent, the child is not going to be charged with perverting the course of justice or perjury or anything of that nature. The charge for a false allegation, the criteria according to the CPS website is that the allegation has to be proven, provably, 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 empirically, with empirical evidence proved false, and it has to be proven that the allegation was made out of malice. That's the, the malice part is the public interest side of it. So, when it comes to us as men being on the receiving end of an allegation like this that is proven to be false, we now have a legal precedent as to say why the police and CPS should prosecute a false allegation. Just to be very clear, we're talking about false allegations. This is why the police and CPS should press charges for false allegations. We have a legal precedent here. And if the police are going to say, we don't want to stop real victims coming forward, well, you can then, the next part of that is that under Article 14 of the Human Rights Act, we cannot be discriminated against. So if a man can be charged and convicted of this kind of offence, so can a woman. We cannot and should not be discriminated against because we are men. Under Article 14 of the Human Rights Act, our gender is a protected characteristic and we cannot be discriminated against because of our gender. It's that simple. So please let me know what you think about this story. Please like, 
and share and repost. And you all have a great rest of the weekend. Take care.